Good evening, YouTubers. This is EW Wish once again presenting to you a pipe video. I think you'll enjoy it. Tonight we'll get to find out a good secret to save you a lot of money. And as you can see, these are some nice Dunhills here. The white spot. Nice pipe. A lot of money though. Not really, considering this is a Dunhill second. What pipe this is actually, is this is a James Barber B line from James J.N. Barber, tobacconist of Otley, West Yorkshire, England. He has his own pipe, which is essentially a Dunhill second. This is Dunhill shell. Where did the white spot come from? Hmm. Could it have been somebody that put a white spot of paint on it with a touch-up brush? Maybe? Well, the pipes come from him normally with a B on there and then a stamping on the bottom it says James Barber. The focus is not too good. And then I have noticed that some of them come without any stamping at all. Nothing. But the briar is very good. As you know, Dunhill shell briars, they have a very high quality control. One little flaw, and that's it. They chuck the pipe and restamp it. Well, these are the same briar that the real expensive, expensive ones are made. Um, these bits are not all the work that they put into a first quality, but they still are handmade because you can see they're flat on the bottom side, made just like Dunhill shells are. Anyway, you can get these about tenth of the price of a Dunhill. Yeah, currently, these are selling for uh, real cheap at um, JM Barber's. I'm very happy with them. Um, the only thing that I do with them, basically, when I get them, is I'll test the draft, and I'll usually end up re-drilling the shank for just a little wider diameter for better airflow, and then I'll chamfer the uh, end of the of the tenon, and maybe sometimes um, drill out the bit a little bit more. They, they normally have enough um, vulcanite in them that you have plenty of room to work with there. Normally I go as a general rule, if they if the pipe whistles when you um, draw on it, something's wrong with the, the draft and you need to work on that a little bit to modify it. I once bought a $550 Dunhill Group 6 shell that when I got it I couldn't get any air through it. It was really frustrating. This, I, I ended up re-drilling that one, and I tell you, I was very nervous when I was doing it, but it turned out that when I did it, it was one of the best smokers in my collection. Well, there again, here is um, the Barber B lines, available from J.N. Barber, tobacconist, in um, Great Britain. I think you'll be very, very satisfied if you get one. I am. Thanks again.